Hey, what's up guys? This is tutorial number 6, I believe, and this is going to be a two-part tutorial, actually, because it's pretty long and fairly complex. And here, we are going to make a random number guessing game. And, oh, excuse me, a random number guessing game is basically a game, or I guess a program, that you enter a number into a text field, and the program is going to find out if it matches the random number that was generated. If it does, it's going to say you won. If it doesn't, it's going to say, we're sorry, but you lost. And it's going to make sure that you can't enter like bogus information like A or uh, parentheses or anything else into the text field. So, this should work pretty good. Um, first thing you can do is import a few things. So. Pause now if you don't have those, but I'm going to minimize them. And then, these programs all start off the same, so you should probably just try to memorize what you write in. You do type in extends J frame, and then you always declare your variables first. Um, we're going to need two variables, I mean, <laughs> no, two n integer variables, um, a random number that the computers are going to generate, and a guess which the user is going to generate through the text field. So int random num and these are not going to be equal to anything because they're both going to be generated by the computer and then by the person playing and guess. And then we're going to need a probably a button so and text field, so, whoops, yeah, remember you gotta capitalize these, alright, so, now we're gonna need three labels, first label is gonna say, enter a random number 1 through 10, the second one is gonna say, um, it's gonna say if you won or lost, and the third one is gonna say what the number was, to see how close the user was to getting the random number correct, so, Um, I'll call this one the prompt. I could spell right label, and then the uh, result label. You can name these whenever you want, but they don't have to be called what I call them. But uh, it's probably easier if you just do, so you can follow along better. And then the random label. Now, we're done declaring variables. So go down, start your constructor. Alright, now, we need to um, set all of our stuff equal to something, except not our, we're not going to set uh, these integers equal to anything yet, that'll happen when we actually click the button. So, I think the first thing we'll have is the prompt label, prompt label, spell that right, alright, it's equal to new j label and then inside that label we're going to have it say enter a random number 1 through 10 and if you want you can make your game 1 through 20, 1 through 40, 1 through 36, 1 through 2, I don't really care but it doesn't matter I'll show you how to change the how high it goes to now we're going to add our prompt label now Probably after that we're gonna have a text field, so they're right next to each other. So text field is equal to new j text field, and for a width I'm gonna have it fairly short because you only need to enter like two digits max. So I'll also have five columns I guess, and then add text field to this window. And now we need a button. So button is equal to new j button. Um. Guess that's the button has is, has a value of guess. That's what it's gonna say on the button, so the user knows what to click, and then add button. Now we still have this result label and prompt label, but these are gonna actually be set to nothing at first, and then they're gonna get values in them when the button is clicked. <laughs> so result label equals new j label and nothing. 
So I really won't see it, but it'll be there. And then salt label. And then random label. And this one, in case you're confused, this one is gonna say like um the random number generated was five. And that way the user knows how close they were. Like, say they guess a six and it's a five, they'll be like, oh man, that's only one away from getting it. So that's why I'm adding this. You don't have to add it, but I think it kind of makes it a little interest more interesting. So Oh, my type rate. Um, yeah. And add random label. Okay. Now, I think is that it? Mm, no. Oh, all right. We need one more thing. So we need to give the button um, an action listener, so it knows when it gets clicked, it has to do something. So just like last um, couple of tutorials, you gotta go. Uh, I just use a name and event just so I know what it does. Event e equals new event, and then it's giving us errors because we haven't made the class yet. Kind of friend symbol class event, so that's all right. It'll go away, and then um, button dot add action listener e just like that. All right, so now go out of our constructor, go down a couple lines, and then say public class event implements action listener and don't capitalize the i oh my god what the heck listener and then it's giving us another error because we haven't made the action performed um, method yet so public void action performed action event e just like that, and yep. So let's see, I'm running low on time, so I think this is where I'm gonna stop this one, and just click the find the one that says tutorial number seven, and you'll be able to find the continuation of this program. And I'll leave off right here. So hope to see you for the next one.